Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jake Smash. This is going to be a Watch Over Realms video. It is Friday, September 27th. Banners are live, some of them. Um, so we got to talk about them. I was going to do this last night, but obviously I'm late. So uh, let's talk about whether or not you should be summoning. Let's get to work. All right, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, we are talking about this weekend's banners. This one's going to be pretty quick, all right? So short answer up front, should you be summoning? Probably not, but let's get to the details. Crazy Invocation, Crazy Divine, these are your standard 2x banners that happen every week. Um, these are great for early game accounts. If you're just starting out, you want more legendaries to flesh out your roster. But you're not missing anything if you don't pull um, special Invocation of Spirits and Special Divine. So this is your 15x banners. The legendary champs are Cetrum and Seraphina. Um, good epic champs also in Lily and Baron, but you really shouldn't be pulling on these banners specifically for epics because you're going to get them eventually. There just aren't very many epics in the game unless you're hunting for something like a Dolores. All right, so for Cetrum and Seraphina, here's why you should probably not be summoning even though Cetrum and Seraphina are both good champs, all right? Cetrum is an Infernal Marksman. He does extra damage to shields. He's great for um, Guild Boss 1, Drake's Chasm. He's great for Faction Trials. He's great in a lot of content. He can put out good damage and uh, really good versus shields. Seraphina is actually a very strong uh, single target mage. Very, very surprisingly strong. She's gotten some flack for not being that great, but uh, I think she's one of the underrated champs in the game. So, I mean, they're both good. Neither one of them are, like, triple S game-changing, but they're both good. And then on Saturday, we have a 1 plus 1 event where uh, pulling with your blues or your diamonds, the first legendary that you pull, you will get a second one for free. Uh, best of value banner that the game puts on for the most part you might argue for nascent in certain circumstances but overall broadly for the entire player base one plus one is best value all right so with some good champs and a one plus one why shouldn't you be summoning well um first of all most people have next to nothing because the game um moonton's been giving us really good banners i i think partially to compensate for a lack of updates however the update is coming mid-october the update is coming and a bunch of new champs are going to be added to the game and there are some good ones all right um and then we're going to have halloween and then we're going to have um black friday next month so um since these are like good but not excellent I recommend holding. The only exception to that is that uh, if you're a spender, that, I mean, obviously, if you're a whale, then you're going to whale, you're going to do you, right? Um, but other than that, like, if you're willing to spend a little bit here and there, and it's not a big deal, then maybe go for the one plus one just because it's a great value. But leave the, uh, leave the other banners alone because we've got new champs coming in just a couple weeks. And... Uh, and we have some holidays coming up soon also. So overall, should you be summoning? Probably not, but if you're gonna do anything, go for the one plus one, and, and that is it, save for the update that is coming soon, all right? So thank you so much for your time. If you appreciated this, please support the channel, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and I will see you in the next one. Amplified Audio.